Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about FL Studio versus the industry standard Pro Tools. I feel like I feel like we needed Samantha Irvin to introduce Pro Tools. Anyway, now I am not a Pro Tools user, so this is from an outsider perspective. The best DAW though is the one that suits your needs. Now that that's out of the way, most of the big studios are going to be using Pro Tools, which is not bad, it's just simply a fact. So if you start with Pro Tools, you are going to have the upper hand when you need to go into an actual studio. This to me though, doesn't mean that it's the best door. For one, Pro Tools is subscription based which is something I just dislike with a passion. I'd rather pay for the most expensive version of Ableton or FL Studio and have it for life than spend the rest of my music career paying Avid. Avid has its own launcher with all of its software. You sort of become part of the Avid ecosystem. Obviously a good marketing maneuver, so get that iLock account ready. Okay, now that my minor grievances are taken care of, Pro Tools is actually a nice DAW. I had the demo or trial for like 5 minutes and then uninstalled it immediately because it was installing everything to my C drive, which just does not have much space. It's a 128 gig SSD. And apparently you can't move it. I don't know why, but damn, did this frustrate me. That's the only reason though, that I don't still have it installed because it did seem really cool. I love making beats in FL Studio, much like pretty much everyone who uses it. The channel rack makes programming drums so much faster, actually making entire loops faster. FL just gives you the tools to make some insane stuff without making everything overly complicated. Maybe cluttered, but not complicated. You've got gross beat, harmer, and patcher, and there's so much more at your disposal. However, I think for anyone not used to FL Studio, they're going to dislike all the windows. If you are not organized, your FL Studio is going to be a mess. As a beginner, you are not going to know all the organization features, therefore your sessions will be a mess. Routing is one of the other complaints I always hear when other DAW users dislike the FL Studio setup. FL Studio uses these little green wires to route different mixer channels. Again, it looks messy. I'll give them that. I'll definitely give them that. It does look messy. So Pro Tools is undeniably more track focused. You're recording live instruments in Pro Tools then this is where Pro Tools shines. Using control equals, you can switch between the mix and track windows. Everything feels fast and snappy when it comes to recording and mixing vocals. Pro Tools has also added a sort of step sequencer. However, if I'm being honest, I don't see anything unique about Pro Tools. I mean, it's a great DAW, don't get me wrong but it's not special in any way. Whatever you can do in Pro Tools, you can do it in FL Studio as well. The only thing I can think of is freezing tracks, which would be damn useful in FL. Last little thing I wanna hammer on about Pro Tools is no VST support. Pro Tools uses AAX, so you might get the odd plugin that does not support it. So if you have existing plugins from a, PA, from a previous DAW, you won't be able to load them up like you would in Ableton or Studio One or FL Studio. So let's get into the pricing. Um, on Pro Tools, you have Pro Tools Intro, which is free, limited, 
and lets you try before you buy. And that's always a plus. We then have Artist. It's $99 a year. Also limited, but I mean, 64 tracks, that's great. Um, but actually useful for a vocalist or singer-songwriter, unlike if else fruity edition studio is i'd say the main or most popular bundle for the home studio producers out there at 300 dollars a year and for good reason the full package is called ultimate and it's 600 dollars every year you had better be making some serious cash if you are looking at this another little thing i want to note on is Yes, I don't like the whole subscription-based setup, but you are getting access to a hell of a lot of um, content for that subscription price. Like, if I'm correct, you'll get Melodyne with Pro Tools, which in itself is expensive, and there are a lot of other um, plugins that you will now have access to that you don't have to go out and buy because of your Pro Tools subscription. So yes, they're all linked, but it is beneficial. Don't get me wrong. Um, FL Studio has a functional demo version. However, you cannot open your saved projects. Other plans include the Foodie Edition at $99, but it has no audio recording. I mean, why? What? What is? What's the purpose here? Then we have producer at two hundred dollars. This is definitely the real starting point. From there, we have signature at three hundred dollars, which gives you access to extra plugins. The full bundle will cost you five hundred dollars. Um, in summary, this was not a Pro Tools. This video, it's just mostly track based and i don't have a ton of gear so it's not really for me but for the mixing and mastering engineer it's most definitely for you and i can see why it's been a studio staple for all these years if you are a studio that is bringing in artists and bringing in cash flow then hell yes definitely consider pro tools for the producer, beat maker, sound design lover, and even the hobbyist, FL Studio is definitely for you. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Actual Pro Tools users, give us some feedback in the comment section about what makes Pro Tools unique. I might have missed it. Thanks for watching and have a spectacular day.